Have you ever felt imprisoned by your own emotions, as if they dictated every step you take? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live more lightly, without being dragged down by internal storms? Emotional detachment is the key to this freedom. Imagine facing your daily challenges with serenity, maintaining inner peace even in the most turbulent moments. In this guide, we invite you to embark on a transformative journey. Let's explore the power of emotional detachment, a skill that can revolutionize your mental health and your relationships. Discover how science explains this practice and learn effective techniques to incorporate it into your life. Together, let's unravel how to differentiate detachment from indifference and how to apply it in various areas of your everyday life. Are you ready to challenge your own emotional limitations and discover a path to a more balanced and satisfying life? Then, come with us and get ready to profoundly transform your relationship with your emotions and live with a lighter heart and a calmer mind. Emotional detachment is an essential tool for mental and emotional well-being. This concept refers to the ability to manage our emotions in a healthy way, preventing negative feelings from controlling our lives. By cultivating detachment, people can achieve a sense of inner peace and emotional balance, fundamental elements for a harmonious life. It's not about avoiding or suppressing emotions, but about approaching them from a perspective that allows us to understand them without being dominated by them. Emotional detachment invites us to recognize our emotions, accept their presence and deal with them constructively. In this way, it's possible to maintain a serene posture in the face of adversity and daily challenges. The practice of emotional detachment is a profound journey of self-discovery and personal development that involves enhancing skills of self-awareness and self-regulation. Essentially, it's about learning to respond to life situations with clarity, discernment, and a healthy dose of emotional distance. This concept not only invites us to understand our own emotions, but also offers us a deeper insight into how they impact our relationships and our overall well-being. By embracing emotional detachment, we create space for a more fulfilling and fulfilling existence. Instead of being dominated by our emotions, we learn to interact with the world and the people around us in a more balanced and compassionate way. This means finding a balance between being aware of our feelings and not being completely governed by them. Emotional detachment is not about suppressing emotions or avoiding feelings. It's about developing a healthy relationship with them. It's about recognizing the presence of emotions, accepting them as a natural part of the human experience, and learning to deal with them in a constructive and empathetic way. By doing so, we are able to maintain a more serene and resilient stance, even in the face of life's adversities. In addition to impacting our daily interactions, Emotional detachment also has profound implications for our personal growth. It challenges us to fully live in the present, freeing us from the bonds of the past and concerns about the future. By cultivating this mentality of living in the moment, we can experience a renewed sense of freedom and gratitude for life. By practicing emotional detachment, we are committing ourselves to a journey of self-improvement and self-discovery. We are empowering ourselves to live with more authenticity, compassion, and integrity. And in doing so, we are building the foundations for a more meaningful life, where emotional well-being is a constant and inner peace is an achievable goal. The science of detachment, an increasingly relevant approach in the field of psychology, sheds light on the intricate dynamics of the human brain and its role in emotional regulation. In addition to just highlighting its importance, research in this field reveals the underlying mechanisms that make detachment such a powerful practice for psychological well-being. As we delve into the brain tissue, we discover that our mind is a complex web of interdependent regions, each contributing uniquely to the processing and management of our emotions. The prefrontal cortex, one of these critical regions, located in the frontal part of the brain, plays a central role in emotional regulation. Endowed with advanced cognitive abilities, such as reasoning, decision-making, and executive control, the prefrontal cortex empowers us to carefully analyze situations plan our actions, and modulate our emotional responses. However, understanding doesn't end here. The science of detachment leads us to explore more deeply how these brain processes relate to the practice of detachment. We find that detachment acts as a catalyst to strengthen the neural connections associated with the prefrontal cortex, thus expanding our capacity to regulate emotions consciously and deliberately. In essence, by practicing detachment, we are training our brain to respond more balanced and adaptively to the emotional challenges of everyday life. This deeper understanding of the neuroscience behind detachment not only enriches our knowledge of the human mind, 
but also empowers us to cultivate greater emotional resilience and a more enduring state of psychological well-being. By recognizing and honoring the intricate brain mechanisms involved, we can embrace detachment as a valuable tool for navigating the complexities of the human experience with greater clarity and serenity. As we delve into the concept of emotional detachment, we discover that we not only strengthen the prefrontal cortex, but also trigger a series of complex processes that shape our emotional experience profoundly. In addition to its interaction with the prefrontal cortex, the limbic system, situated deeper in the brain, plays a crucial role in this process. The limbic system is a complex network of brain structures that orchestrate our emotions, memories, and behaviors in response to emotional stimuli. Among its most prominent parts are the amygdala and the hippocampus. The amygdala, known as the center of fear and emotional responses, plays a vital role in detecting threats and generating alert and anxiety responses. On the other hand, the hippocampus is closely involved in the consolidation and retrieval of emotional memories, directly influencing how we perceive and respond to past and present events. The dynamic interaction between the prefrontal cortex and the limbic system is fundamental to achieving a healthy state of emotional detachment. While the prefrontal cortex performs its modulation function over the emotional responses generated by the limbic system, it allows us to respond with greater calm, clarity, and rationality in challenging situations. Recent scientific studies corroborate these findings, demonstrating that regular practice of emotional detachment not only strengthens the neural connections associated with the prefrontal cortex, but also leads to a significant reduction in perceived stress levels and an increase in emotional resilience. This enhancement of emotional self-regulation not only improves individual psychological well-being, but also has the potential to promote healthier relationships and a more compassionate and empathetic community. Studies reveal that the benefits of emotional detachment go far beyond simply dealing with adversity and quickly recovering from stressful events. In fact, the neuroscience of detachment indicates that this practice has the power to positively reshape both brain structure and function, creating a profound and lasting impact on our overall well-being. As we delve deeper into this topic, we discover that emotional detachment is not just a tool for facing momentary challenges. It is a lifestyle that fundamentally transforms how we perceive and interact with the world around us. Integrating emotional detachment into our daily routines not only prepares us to deal with life's ups and downs, but also empowers us to live more authentically and meaningfully. The benefits of emotional detachment extend across various areas of life, from interpersonal relationships to work performance and mental health. By cultivating this practice, we develop a greater ability to maintain healthy relationships, establish clear boundaries, and communicate more effectively. Moreover, we find a sense of inner peace that allows us to navigate challenging situations with calmness and confidence. The influence of emotional detachment on brain structure and function is particularly intriguing. Recent studies suggest that regular practice of detachment can lead to measurable changes in brain activity, strengthening neural connections associated with emotional regulation and self-control. These changes not only help us cope better with stress and anxiety, but also allow us to experience a deeper and more enduring state of well-being. In summary, emotional detachment offers a journey of self-discovery and personal growth that transcends the boundaries of traditional psychology. By embracing this practice with an open mind and a tranquil heart, we open the doors to a fuller, more meaningful, and balanced life. Emotional detachment, besides being a powerful tool for dealing with negative emotions and obsessive thoughts, also brings with it a series of benefits that permeate all aspects of our mental and emotional life. One of these prominent benefits is improved mental clarity. When we detach from negative emotions and thought patterns that tend to consume us, our mind is freed from unnecessary distractions and becomes more focused and lucid. This state of mental clarity allows us to see situations more objectively and make more informed and rational decisions. By eliminating emotional noise, we increase our efficiency in dealing with the demands of everyday life and pursuing our long-term goals. With the mind liberated from emotional bonds, we are able to operate with enhanced precision and objectivity, contributing to a more consistent and assertive performance in all areas of our life. Moreover, emotional detachment strengthens our resilience in the face of adversity. The ability to confront difficulties without being overwhelmed by them is essential for our personal growth and emotional well-being. Individuals who practice emotional detachment develop a more balanced posture in stressful situations, 
allowing them to recover more quickly from setbacks and challenges. This resilience not only helps us overcome obstacles, but also empowers us to grow with them, turning life's inevitable storms into opportunities for learning and strengthening. By cultivating this capacity for adaptation and resilience, we are able to navigate life's turbulence with greater serenity, confidence, and wisdom. Interpersonal relationships are a fertile ground for the benefits of emotional detachment, as its practice not only strengthens existing bonds, but also creates space for new meaningful connections. When we let go of unrealistic expectations and past resentments, we can interact with others more authentically and compassionately. Detachment allows us to accept people for who they are, without the need to mold or control them according to our own expectations. This level of mutual acceptance creates an environment of trust and respect, where relationships can thrive in a healthy and fulfilling way. Furthermore, emotional detachment promotes an overall state of well-being and tranquility that permeates all aspects of our lives. By freeing ourselves from excessive emotional control, we experience a profound sense of inner peace. This tranquility allows us to fully embrace the present moment without being haunted by past regrets or future anxieties. Being present in the moment enables us to appreciate life's simple joys and cultivate a sense of gratitude for the journey we are on. Another significant advantage of emotional detachment is its ability to help us focus our efforts on personal and professional goals more effectively. By freeing ourselves from the burden of uncontrolled emotions, we can direct our energy towards what truly matters. This enables us to set goals with clarity and determination, working towards them with greater efficiency and satisfaction. With a clear mind and an open heart, we can face challenges with resilience and determination, achieving our goals with a sense of fulfillment and lasting contentment. The enhanced concentration resulting from emotional detachment is a fundamental skill for success and fulfillment in various areas of life. When we can direct our attention clearly and focusedly, we can tackle challenges more effectively and make the most of opportunities that come our way. One of the greatest misconceptions surrounding the concept of emotional detachment is its differentiation from indifference. Although they may appear similar at first glance, these two attitudes are fundamentally distinct in nature and in their effects on emotional well-being. Emotional detachment is a conscious practice that involves accepting and understanding our emotions without letting them dominate us. It requires a high degree of self-awareness and self-control, allowing us to experience and process feelings in a healthy way. Unlike indifference, which may be seen as a way to avoid or suppress emotions, detachment does not deny or repress feelings. Instead, it promotes a balanced approach where we acknowledge and address our feelings without becoming enslaved by them. By practicing emotional detachment, we learn to cultivate a healthy and compassionate relationship with our emotions, allowing us to experience the fullness of the human experience without being consumed by it. This ability to remain centered and balanced in the face of emotional fluctuations empowers us to make decisions with clarity and act with resilience, regardless of external circumstances. Ultimately, emotional detachment not only frees us from the shackles of uncontrolled emotions but also empowers us to live with more authenticity, purpose, and serenity. Emotional detachment not only enables us to face emotional challenges with serenity and balance, but also contributes to the development of robust and sustainable mental well-being. By cultivating the ability to observe our emotions without being swept away by them, we can maintain a clear perspective and a calm mind, even in the face of life's adversities. On the other hand, indifference is characterized by a state of disinterest and emotional disconnection. When a person is indifferent, they tend not to care or emotionally engage with the situations around them. While it may be a defensive response to painful experiences, Indifference often results in significant disconnection from one's own emotions and those of others. This state of emotional detachment can indicate underlying issues such as apathy or depression, and is often detrimental to both mental health and interpersonal relationships. It is important to note that, unlike indifference, emotional detachment is not a denial or suppression of emotions, but rather a conscious and balanced approach to dealing with them. While indifference distances us from our own emotions and those of others, Emotional detachment empowers us to experience them authentically and consciously, without allowing them to dominate us. This fundamental difference in approach can have a significant impact on our emotional well-being and the quality of our relationships. Emotional detachment, as opposed to indifference, 
promotes healthy engagement with our emotions in the world around us. While indifference reflects an absence of emotional engagement, detachment empowers us to interact with the world more consciously and compassionately without being swept away by the emotional waves we encounter. This practice equips us with the ability to respond to situations with clarity and discernment, maintaining an open heart and a calm mind in the face of life's challenges. Emotional detachment, therefore, is not simply about ignoring or suppressing our emotions, but rather about developing a healthy relationship with them. It is a journey of self-discovery and self-mastery, in which we learn to recognize and embrace our emotions without being ruled by them. Instead of allowing emotions to control us, detachment empowers us to objectively observe them, understanding their origins and effects without allowing them to negatively impact us. In contrast, indifference can lead to emotional isolation where a person becomes insensitive not only to their own emotions, but also to those of others. This state of emotional disconnection can be detrimental to personal relationships, creating barriers that prevent true connection and empathy. Interactions affected by indifference tend to be superficial and devoid of meaning, negatively impacting both the personal and professional lives of the individual. It's important to highlight that emotional detachment doesn't mean distancing or insensitivity, but rather a conscious and balanced approach to dealing with emotions. While indifference separates us from our own emotions and those of others, detachment allows us to experience them authentically and consciously, without being overwhelmed by them. This fundamental difference in approach can have a profound impact on the quality of our relationships and our emotional well-being, enabling us to live with more authenticity, compassion, and serenity. Therefore, it's crucial to understand that emotional detachment is a healthy and balanced practice aimed at emotional well-being and resilience, while indifference represents a harmful withdrawal from emotions. Understanding this difference is essential for cultivating deeper and more meaningful relationships and promoting a healthy and balanced emotional state. The true essence of detachment lies in the ability to navigate emotions with wisdom and compassion without succumbing to disinterest or emotional detachment. Emotional detachment is deeply intertwined with self-esteem, forming a symbiotic relationship that nurtures and strengthens a person's mental and emotional health. By learning to detach from negative emotions and internal criticisms, individuals can not only cultivate but also sustain a more positive and healthy self-image. This process not only boosts self-esteem, but also promotes a sense of self-worth that is resilient and self-sustaining over time. In this context, Emotional detachment implies freeing oneself from the shackles of self-criticism and external expectations that often distort our perception of ourselves. As we practice detachment, we begin to view our flaws and imperfections from a more compassionate and less punitive perspective. This healthy distance allows us to focus on our personal growth and building a self-image based on our own values and accomplishments, rather than external impositions or judgments. Unbinding ourselves from internal criticisms and negative emotions creates space for genuine self-acceptance. This state of acceptance allows us to recognize our own dignity and intrinsic worth, regardless of external circumstances or others' opinions. As we cultivate this perspective, our self-confidence strengthens, creating a solid foundation upon which we can build a robust and enduring self-esteem. Additionally, Emotional detachment empowers us to develop a more compassionate and loving relationship with ourselves. Instead of incessantly criticizing ourselves for our failures and imperfections, we learn to embrace these aspects of ourselves with compassion and kindness. This attitude of self-compassion is crucial for the development of healthy self-esteem, as it allows us to recognize our shared humanity and value ourselves as beings deserving of love and acceptance, just as we are. The practice of emotional detachment goes beyond freeing us from the bonds of negative emotions. It also empowers us to detach from external expectations, which often become sources of stress and dissatisfaction in our lives. By directing our energy towards our own growth and goals, rather than incessantly trying to meet the demands and expectations of others, we can align our actions with our true desires and aspirations. This alignment promotes a deep sense of authenticity and fulfillment, essential for nurturing healthy and enduring self-esteem. Moreover, as we emotionally distance ourselves from external criticisms and expectations, we also open up space to explore new possibilities and pursue our genuine interests and personal passions. This allows us to expand our horizons, discover new skills and talents, and connect more deeply with our authentic purposes and values. 
Ultimately, emotional detachment empowers us to live on our own terms, honoring our inner truth and living a life more aligned with who we truly are. Discussing the connection between emotional detachment and self-esteem is crucial to understanding the importance of detachment as a powerful tool for enhancing not only mental health, but also emotional health. When we explore this connection, we can realize that emotional detachment doesn't mean completely distancing ourselves from emotions, but rather cultivating a more balanced and healthy relationship with them. By understanding that our self-esteem shouldn't depend solely on external factors, such as others' approval or material success, we strengthen our ability to build a positive self-image based on our essence and intrinsic values. Emotional detachment offers a path to personal fulfillment and well-being by teaching us to value who we are, regardless of external circumstances. This means recognizing that we are more than our momentary emotions and that we can find an internal source of contentment and security. By learning not to overly identify with our thoughts and feelings, we open up space for greater freedom and authenticity in our lives. Furthermore, emotional detachment empowers us to find strength in our own resilience and capacity for growth. By accepting that change is inevitable and that we can't always control the situations around us, we develop a more flexible and adaptable mindset. This enables us to deal with life's challenges more effectively and makes us more capable of recovering from adversities. Regarding meditation techniques for detachment, it's important to recognize the fundamental role that this practice plays in promoting emotional well-being. Meditation offers a variety of tools and approaches for cultivating emotional detachment, including mindfulness, guided meditations, and breathing exercises. When practicing mindfulness, we learn to observe our emotions with an attitude of curiosity and acceptance, rather than judgment or rejection. This allows us to develop greater awareness and control over our thought and behavior patterns, reducing the tendency to overly identify with our emotions. Guided meditations can also be helpful for cultivating emotional detachment, as they help us direct our attention beyond the concerns and anxieties of the present moment, connecting us with a sense of inner calm and clarity. Furthermore, breathing exercises can be an effective tool for promoting emotional detachment, as conscious breathing can help calm the nervous system and reduce the intensity of emotions. By incorporating these meditation techniques into our daily routine, we can develop greater ability to observe our emotions in a detached manner, allowing us to respond more consciously and balancedly to life situations. Mindfulness, or the practice of mindfulness, is a multifaceted approach that has become a cornerstone in the pursuit of emotional detachment and overall well-being. Its essence lies in the ability to fully engage with the present moment, without the interference of judgments or distractions. Starting the journey of mindfulness can be as simple as finding a quiet place, assuming a comfortable posture, and focusing on the breath. The act of closing the eyes and directing attention to the sensations accompanying the breath as it enters and leaves the body is often a starting point. However, mindfulness practice transcends mere observation of the breath. As we delve deeper into this state of awareness, we begin to realize that thoughts and emotions arise inevitably. The real challenge lies in recognizing them without clinging to them, allowing them to pass like clouds drifting across the sky. This ongoing and regular exercise serves as a training for the mind, strengthening our ability to observe our emotions objectively without being swept away by them. For those who are taking their first steps on this journey, or seeking specific guidance on how to achieve emotional detachment, guided meditations offer valuable assistance. Available on a myriad of apps and online platforms, these meditations provide step-by-step -step instructions and soothing visualizations that help promote acceptance and release of negative emotions. Following a guided meditation focused on emotional detachment can be especially beneficial. By following a clear and concise script, we are guided to address our difficult emotions constructively and healthily. These meditations provide a safe and welcoming space to explore our deepest feelings while helping us cultivate a more balanced and compassionate relationship with them. Breathing exercises, fundamental in meditation practice, offer a diverse range of techniques that not only promote calmness, but also strengthen emotional detachment. In addition to deep breathing, which involves slowly inhaling through the nose, holding the breath for a few moments and exhaling gently through the mouth, there are other approaches that can be explored to achieve a state of deep relaxation. Diaphragmatic breathing, for example, focuses on breathing in the diaphragm region, allowing for full expansion of the lungs and a more complete exhalation. 
which contributes to reducing tension and promoting a sense of tranquility. Similarly, the square breathing technique, which involves inhaling, holding, exhaling, and holding, each phase for the same duration, offers a structure that can help center the mind and stabilize emotions, thus facilitating the process of emotional detachment. In addition to breathing techniques, the practice of loving-kindness meditation, also known as metta, is another valuable tool for cultivating emotional detachment. By intentionally sending feelings of love and kindness to oneself and others, this practice promotes a deep sense of connection and compassion. Starting with well-being and happiness affirmations directed at oneself, gradually expanding to include loved ones, acquaintances, and even those with whom one struggles, loving-kindness meditation offers an opportunity to transform negative thought patterns and cultivate an attitude of acceptance and understanding towards others and oneself. Thus, by integrating breathing techniques and meditative practices such as loving-kindness meditation into your routine, you can strengthen your ability to remain balanced in the face of emotional fluctuations and cultivate a state of detachment that allows you to deal with life's challenges with serenity and compassion. The practice of body scanning, a meditative technique where attention is directed to different parts of the body, is an effective approach to increasing body and emotional awareness. Starting from the feet and gradually moving up to the head, this practice allows the practitioner to attentively observe where tensions and emotions manifest in the body. By identifying and releasing these tensions, it is possible to cultivate greater detachment from negative emotions, thus promoting a state of emotional balance and well-being. Body scanning is not only about recognizing where tensions reside in the body, but also about developing a more conscious and compassionate relationship with the body itself. By dedicating time to explore the physical sensations in each part of the body, the practitioner learns to listen to and respond to the body's needs in a more holistic way. This deepened body awareness not only promotes emotional detachment, but also strengthens the mind-body connection, allowing the individual to respond more effectively to the demands of everyday life. Furthermore, while body scanning is a more traditional meditative practice, there are other creative ways to promote emotional detachment, such as meditative writing in a journal. Setting aside a few minutes each day to write about thoughts and emotions without censorship offers an opportunity to process and release repressed feelings. This exercise of self-expression promotes greater mental and emotional clarity, allowing the practitioner to better understand their own experiences and consequently cultivate a state of detachment from them. Meditative writing can also serve as a powerful self-reflection tool, allowing the practitioner to explore thought and behavior patterns that may be contributing to negative emotions. By consciously recognizing and examining these patterns, the practitioner can begin to unravel the underlying roots of their emotions, thereby promoting greater self-understanding and acceptance. Additionally, social interaction also plays a fundamental role in the process of personal growth. By commenting on and sharing your experiences, you not only strengthen your own journey but also contribute to a community of mutual support. Therefore, by leaving a comment, you not only connect with other individuals who share similar interests, but also strengthen your own practice of emotional detachment by actively participating in this collaborative process of personal growth. Let's continue the journey together, sharing and learning from each other. Your participation is valued and essential to enriching our collective experience. Detachment in romantic relationships goes beyond simply avoiding excessive dependencies. It is about adopting a mature and conscious approach to cultivating a balanced and harmonious coexistence. At the heart of this concept is emotional autonomy, which involves respecting each partner's individual spaces and feelings. Detaching oneself does not mean being cold or disinterested. On the contrary, it is a way of nurturing love with maturity and sensitivity. When applying detachment in relationships, many people may interpret it as distancing or lack of care. However, the true essence of detachment lies in the ability to love without possessing, to be present without suffocating. This implies understanding that each person has their own path and individual needs that deserve to be respected so that the relationship can flourish in a healthy and genuine way. Exploring and discussing how to incorporate detachment into romantic relationships is an opportunity to enrich and strengthen emotional bonds. This practice not only preserves the individuality of each partner, but also creates a safe space for growth and personal development for both, even as they share a common journey. Integrating detachment into a relationship means recognizing and honoring individual differences, 
cultivating open and empathetic communication, and fostering an environment of mutual support. This allows both partners to feel valued and respected in their uniqueness while enjoying the connection and companionship that the relationship provides. Ultimately, detachment in romantic relationships is an invitation to love more freely, consciously, and authentically, where freedom and commitment coexist harmoniously, creating a solid foundation for lasting and meaningful love. By cultivating detachment in our relationships, we are essentially creating fertile ground for the flourishing of mutual trust and for the full and meaningful expression of love. It is a skill that, once developed, has the power to deeply impact the dynamics of our relationships, making them more resilient and less vulnerable to passing emotional turbulence. Imagine detachment as a solid foundation upon which we build our emotional bonds. By embracing this approach, we are not emotionally distancing ourselves from our partners, but rather committing in a more authentic and healthy way. Developing this skill requires practice and constant awareness, as it involves learning to love unconditionally without expectations or excessive attachments. Considering detachment as an essential part of a romantic relationship not only brings tangible benefits but also reflects an evolution in the understanding of love and intimacy. It invites us to deep reflection on how we can become more compassionate, aware, and committed partners not only to each other's well-being but also to our own emotional well-being. By adopting this detachment stance, we not only strengthen the bonds with our partners, but also become more complete and fulfilled individuals. The practice of detachment challenges us to become more aware of our own needs and limitations and empowers us to establish healthy boundaries and nurture relationships based on reciprocity and mutual respect. Ultimately, detachment invites us to transcend traditional notions of love and relationships, encouraging us to seek a deeper and more authentic connection with ourselves and with our partners. It is through this journey of self-discovery and mutual acceptance that we can truly experience love in its purest and most transformative form. Detachment in family dynamics is a practice that can bring significant benefits to all involved members. In family relationships, there is often a complex mix of emotions, expectations, and responsibilities that can lead to conflicts and tensions. However, by cultivating emotional detachment, we are not emotionally distancing ourselves from our family members but rather adopting a more balanced and healthy approach to dealing with family interactions. Firstly, it's important to understand that detachment doesn't mean lack of care or indifference towards our loved ones. On the contrary, it's about recognizing and respecting the individualities of each family member, allowing them to live their lives according to their own choices and values. This creates an environment of greater peace and mutual understanding, where each person feels free to be who they really are, without the burden of others' expectations. By exploring detachment and family dynamics, we acknowledge that each individual has their own life experiences, desires, and unique paths. This means that our expectations or desires for them may not always align with their own aspirations. Instead of trying to control or shape others according to our own visions, detachment invites us to accept and value the autonomy and freedom of choice of each family member. This practice also facilitates conflict resolution and misunderstandings within the family. When each person feels free to express their true perspectives and needs without fear of judgment or rejection, dialogue becomes more open and honest. This creates a safe space where differences can be respected and solutions can be found collaboratively. Furthermore, by practicing detachment in family dynamics, we promote the development of more authentic and meaningful relationships. When we're not bound by each other's expectations, we can connect more genuinely valuing and supporting each other in our individual paths. This strengthens family bonds and creates a solid foundation for a healthy and enriching relationship over time. Considering the adoption of detachment in the family sphere, we are indeed opening the doors to an environment of greater acceptance and mutual understanding. It's important to understand that detachment doesn't imply disinterest or lack of love for our loved ones. On the contrary, it's a loving and compassionate approach where we recognize and respect the individuality of each family member. By accepting that we cannot control the choices and behaviors of others, even within our own family, we demonstrate a deep understanding and respect for each person's individual rights and freedoms. This creates a space where each family member feels valued and respected in their authenticity, thus promoting a more harmonious and less conflict-ridden coexistence. Practicing detachment at home also doesn't mean a lack of emotional involvement. On the contrary, 
It involves loving freely and without imposition, allowing each person to flourish in their own essence. By understanding that the best way to care is to allow the other to be who they are, without restrictions or expectations, we are demonstrating truly unconditional love. In this context, detachment and family dynamics promotes a culture of mutual respect and support, where each family member feels encouraged to pursue their own happiness and personal fulfillment. This strengthens family bonds, creating an environment of trust, understanding, and genuine love. Thus, by cultivating detachment in our family, we are building not only stronger and more loving bonds, but also empowering each person to fully live their life, contributing to the well-being and happiness of all. Mutual respect and emotional freedom-based relationships. In the context of the workplace, the adoption of emotional detachment can be a key factor in promoting relationships based on mutual respect and emotional freedom. By implementing detachment in the corporate environment, we are not emotionally disconnecting from the people around us, but rather developing a more balanced and professional approach to dealing with interactions in the workplace. It's essential to recognize that emotional detachment at work doesn't mean suppressing or denying our emotions, but rather learning to manage them effectively so they don't interfere with our productivity and professional performance. This involves distinguishing between personal emotions and professional situations, maintaining focus and efficiency at work, and minimizing distractions that may arise from conflicts or personal concerns. By adopting detachment in the workplace, we are cultivating an organizational culture where mutual respect and emotional freedom are valued and encouraged. This creates a more positive and collaborative work environment where people feel more comfortable expressing their opinions and contributing to the common goals of the company. Furthermore, detachment in the workplace can help reduce the stress and anxiety associated with work pressures and demands. By learning to let go of excessive worries or unrealistic expectations, we can better focus on our tasks and make more objective and effective decisions. Ultimately, by integrating emotional detachment in the workplace, we are promoting a culture of professionalism and mutual respect, where people can feel valued and supported in their professional journey. This not only benefits the company as a whole, but also contributes to the individual well-being and success of each employee. The ability to detach from frustrations and criticisms in the workplace not only does it promote a more objective and effective approach, but it also preserves the mental and emotional health of employees. By implementing detachment in the workplace, individuals learn not only to manage their emotions, but also to perceive challenges and negative feedback as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than insurmountable barriers. The practice of detachment in the professional environment doesn't imply becoming insensitive or indifferent to situations and people around us. On the contrary, it involves developing an ability to deal with the ups and downs of work in a more balanced and constructive way. This means learning not to take challenges and criticisms personally, but rather to see them as part of the process of continuous improvement and professional development. By adopting this mindset, employees become more resilient and adaptable, capable of facing workplace adversities with a positive and constructive attitude. This not only promotes a healthier and more productive work environment, but also contributes to the overall well-being of employees, reducing the stress and anxiety associated with work pressures. Furthermore, by learning not to emotionally attach to outcomes and expectations, employees may feel freer to explore new ideas and approaches without fear of failure or judgment. This fosters an organizational culture of innovation and creativity, where individuals feel encouraged to take calculated risks and seek creative solutions to the challenges they face. Ultimately, by integrating emotional detachment into the workplace, companies can create a healthier and more productive environment where employees feel valued and supported in their professional journey. This not only promotes the individual success of each employee, but also contributes to the overall success of the organization. Strategies for Cultivating Emotional Detachment at Work Strategies for cultivating emotional detachment in the workplace are essential for promoting a healthy balance between professional life and emotional well-being. Two effective approaches include mindfulness practice and fostering a growth mindset. Mindfulness practice, also known as mindfulness, involves being present in the moment and observing thoughts and emotions without judgment. By incorporating mindfulness into the workplace, employees can develop an ability to keep the mind focused and calm in the face of adversity. This helps them deal with work stress and pressure more effectively, reducing emotional reactivity and promoting clearer and more objective decision-making. 
Additionally, fostering a growth mindset is another powerful strategy for cultivating emotional detachment at work. This involves encouraging employees to see each obstacle as an opportunity for learning and professional growth. Instead of dwelling on failures or challenges, they are encouraged to adopt a proactive and positive approach, seeking creative solutions and learning from their experiences. By cultivating a growth mindset, employees become more resilient and adaptable, capable of facing work challenges with a constructive and optimistic attitude. This not only promotes a healthier and more productive work environment, but also contributes to the personal and professional development of each employee. Ultimately, by adopting these strategies to cultivate emotional detachment at work, companies can create a more positive and collaborative environment where employees feel valued and supported in their professional journey. This not only promotes the emotional well-being of employees, but also contributes to the overall success of the organization. Adopting a stance of detachment at work also means Adopting a stance of detachment at work goes beyond simply emotionally disconnecting from professional situations. It also involves establishing healthy boundaries between personal life and professional responsibilities, ensuring that one does not overwhelm the other. By practicing detachment, professionals can find a way to balance their personal and professional demands, prioritizing their health and well-being. This not only contributes to a better quality of life, but also to more effective performance at work as employees are more rested and energized to face their professional challenges. Additionally, by adopting a stance of detachment, professionals can maintain clearer decision-making and more harmonious interactions in the workplace. By not allowing themselves to become emotionally involved in conflictual or stressful situations, they can approach challenges with a calmer and more objective mind, finding more effective and constructive solutions. This ability to maintain calm and mental clarity also contributes to the promotion of a balanced work environment, reducing the likelihood of interpersonal conflicts. When professionals are able to deal with work pressures more calmly and serenely, interactions in the workplace tend to be more collaborative and respectful, thus promoting a more positive and productive organizational climate. Therefore, adopting a stance of detachment at work not only benefits professionals individually, but also contributes to the health and success of the team and the organization as a whole. By establishing healthy boundaries, maintaining mental clarity, and promoting harmonious interactions, professionals can create a more balanced and productive work environment where everyone can thrive and reach their full potential. Ultimately, ultimately, strategies for emotional detachment in the workplace not only improve individual performance, but also play a crucial role in building a more resilient and adaptable corporate culture. By adopting a more balanced and objective approach to dealing with work challenges, Employees not only benefit individually, but also contribute to a healthier and more productive work environment. An organizational culture that values and promotes emotional detachment is characterized by the ability to face challenges with a positive and constructive attitude. This means that employees are encouraged to deal with situations calmly and objectively, rather than being driven by negative emotions or stress. Furthermore, a work environment that promotes emotional detachment also fosters the collective growth of the organization. This is because employees are able to work more effectively as a team, collaborating harmoniously and respectfully even in challenging situations. When employees feel more confident and capable of facing the challenges of work objectively and balancedly, this reflects positively throughout the organization. A corporate culture that promotes emotional detachment creates an environment conducive to innovation, creativity, and growth, thereby driving the collective success of the organization. Therefore, by investing in strategies to promote emotional detachment in the workplace, companies can not only improve the individual performance of their employees, but also create a more positive and productive environment that favors collective success and long-term sustainable growth. Practicing detachment in friendships. Practicing detachment in our friendships is a valuable skill that can bring numerous benefits to our emotional health and well-being. Just as in other aspects of life, Emotional detachment in friendships involves the ability to manage and, when necessary, distance ourselves from toxic or draining relationships. It is crucial to recognize that not all friendships are healthy or beneficial for us. Sometimes, we find ourselves in situations where certain friendships do us more harm than good, undermining our self-esteem, energy, and happiness. In these cases, emotional detachment gives us the courage and clarity to establish healthy boundaries and distance ourselves from these friendships, thereby prioritizing our own emotional health. 
At the same time, valuing relationships that bring mutual benefits is essential for cultivating a more positive and enriching social circle. This means nurturing friendships based on reciprocity, mutual support, and mutual respect, where both sides feel valued and supported in their personal journey. Furthermore, practicing detachment allows us to be open to new connections that may bring freshness and positive perspectives to our lives. By freeing ourselves from emotional ties to the past, we make room for new friendships and experiences that can enrich us and help us grow as individuals. Valuing friendships that truly contribute positively to our lives is another important aspect of emotional detachment. By learning to appreciate each moment shared with true friends, we avoid overwhelming them with unrealistic expectations or excessive demands. This strengthens the bonds of friendship, creating an environment of support and mutual understanding. Ultimately, practicing emotional detachment in our friendships helps us cultivate healthier, more meaningful, and rewarding relationships. By establishing healthy boundaries, valuing genuine relationships, and being open to new connections, we can build a social circle that supports us in our journey of personal growth and brings us genuine joy and happiness. Gratitude plays a fundamental role in the process of emotional detachment, becoming a powerful tool for those seeking a lighter and more meaningful existence. While detachment teaches us to let go of the worries and regrets that anchor us to the past, gratitude directs us towards an intense appreciation of the present moment and the blessings and successes that adorn our daily lives. This combination of detachment and gratitude promotes a mental state where positivity prevails, facilitating the release of emotional burdens that often hinder us from moving forward. By focusing on feelings of gratitude, we minimize the importance of setbacks and maximize our appreciation for the good things in life. Reflecting on how gratitude can aid in the process of emotional detachment is an inspiring path for those wishing to adopt daily practices that reflect these concepts. For example, dedicating moments to reflect on and acknowledge the small victories and daily joys through a gratitude journal is a simple yet powerful practice that solidifies this habit. Furthermore, the practice of gratitude can be integrated into other daily activities, such as meditation and breathing exercises. By incorporating moments of gratitude into our routine, we strengthen our ability to detach from negative emotions and connect more deeply with the present, where true happiness and fulfillment can be found. Therefore, by recognizing and cultivating gratitude in our lives, we are making room for emotional detachment allowing us to live with more lightness, purpose, and fulfillment. This activity not only reaffirms life's gratifications, but also reshapes our perspective, making us realize how many of our afflictions are self-imposed or exacerbated by an excessive focus on the negative. Promoting a grateful and detached approach is essential for a fuller life, less plagued by the weight of the unchangeable and the non-essential. This focus helps us to value the present while freeing ourselves from the shackles of dissatisfactions that no longer serve us. The combination of gratitude and detachment establishes a robust foundation for a calmer and happier journey, encouraging the audience to practice and integrate these approaches into daily life. By recognizing and appreciating the blessings present in our lives through gratitude, and at the same time cultivating the ability to detach from worries and regrets that prevent us from moving forward through detachment, we are building a path to individual and collective well-being. This practice not only contributes to our own well-being, but also creates an environment around us where generosity and personal growth are celebrated. By adopting a mindset of gratitude and detachment, we are promoting a space where human interactions are enriched and where people feel more empowered to live and let live with harmony and contentment. Emotional detachment in this context emerges as a valuable tool for achieving a more balanced life free from unnecessary emotional burdens. Practices such as maintaining a reflective journal, engaging in mental visualizations, and cultivating self-awareness play a vital role in developing this fundamental skill. Through reflective journaling, we can delve deeper into our thoughts and emotions, identifying patterns and limiting beliefs that may be holding us back. Mental visualizations allow us to practice detachment in a more tangible way envisioning ourselves releasing emotional burdens and moving forward with lightness and confidence. And finally, cultivating self-awareness helps us recognize when we are clinging to negative emotions and empowers us to choose a more balanced and constructive response. Therefore, by incorporating these practices into our daily lives, we strengthen our ability to live with gratitude and detachment, paving the way for a fuller and more satisfying existence, both for ourselves and those around us.
The practice of maintaining a reflective journal is in itself a powerful form of introspection. By dedicating time to write about your feelings and experiences, you create a private space to confront your emotions in a safe and constructive manner. This process not only helps clarify your thoughts, but also initiates a movement towards emotional detachment from the situations you experience. Writing allows you to see your emotions from an external perspective, alleviating the emotional burden they may impose. Additionally, by keeping a reflective journal, you can develop a deeper self-awareness practice, identifying behavioral and emotional patterns that may be influencing your reactions to different situations. By analyzing your writings over time, you can gain valuable insights into yourself and learn to respond more consciously and balance to life's challenges. Moving on to guided visualizations, a proven technique for strengthening the ability to observe your own emotions in a detached manner. By visualizing yourself as an observer of your own experiences, without judgment or direct involvement, you begin to see your emotions as transient events, not as defining elements of your identity. This practice promotes tranquility and emotional control helping you to remain calm even in the face of significant emotional challenges. By cultivating the ability to observe yourself in a detached manner, you become more capable of dealing with the ups and downs of life with a more balanced and resilient perspective. Additionally, cultivating self-awareness through moments of reflection on how you react to different daily situations is essential. Whether through meditation or simply pausing for a moment of deep reflection, remaining aware and attentive to your own thoughts and emotions, without clinging to them, enhances your ability to remain emotionally stable. This mindfulness exercise helps develop inner serenity, allowing you to navigate emotional fluctuations more easily. Integrating these practices into your routine not only improves your ability to emotionally detach, but also significantly contributes to your personal growth. This detachment process is not just about getting rid of unwanted feelings, but about discovering a space of internal freedom that brings clarity and peace to your daily life. By regularly incorporating activities such as maintaining a reflective journal and practicing guided visualizations, you are investing in your own emotional and spiritual development. These practices not only help release the weight of negative emotions, but also promote self-awareness, self-acceptance, and self-development. By consciously facing your emotional challenges and exploring your own mind and heart, you strengthen and grow as an individual. I encourage you to start these practices today and explore the positive changes they can bring to your life. By doing so, you are taking a courageous step towards a fuller and more meaningful life where you are able to live with more lightness and authenticity. Overcoming resistance to emotional detachment is a common challenge faced by many. The fear of losing emotional connections and entrenched habits often presents itself as significant obstacles on the path to an emotionally detached life. However, it is important to remember that detachment does not mean abandoning or denying your feelings, but rather learning to accept them and let them go when necessary. This segment explores typical barriers and presents effective strategies for overcoming them, emphasizing the importance of persistence and patience in the detachment process. By recognizing and confronting these internal resistances, you are taking an important step towards personal growth and emotional freedom. Remember that the detachment process is a continuous and gradual journey, and every small step you take is a victory in itself. So why not take the first step now and see where this path may lead you? Resistance to detachment. Resistance to detachment often arises from fear of the unknown or difficulty in letting go of familiar comforts, even when they are no longer beneficial. Understanding the nature of these fears is the first step to overcoming them. Recognizing that fear is a natural reaction to change can help diminish its influence on our decisions and behaviors. To deal with these challenges, it is helpful to adopt a gradual and compassionate approach. Start by identifying small areas where detachment can be applied without much discomfort and gradually progress to more challenging aspects of your emotional life. This step-by-step -step method allows for adjustments and learning along the way, making the process less daunting. Furthermore, developing a support network is crucial. Talking to friends, family, or professionals who understand your challenges can provide valuable insights and encouragement. Emotional support from others is an invaluable resource when facing profound internal changes. Implementing regular self-awareness practices such as meditation or daily reflection can also be extremely beneficial. These activities help cultivate a more centered mind, 
less susceptible to emotional fluctuations, reinforcing the ability to remain steadfast in the purpose of detachment, even when difficulties arise. The key to overcoming resistance to detachment lies in consistency and patience with your own progress. Every step, no matter how small, is a crucial part of the journey toward a freer and more authentic life. Therefore, it is essential to embrace the process with an open heart and a mind willing to explore new possibilities of existence, free from the shackles of past emotions and outdated behaviors. Detachment and Mental Health Emotional detachment plays a crucial role in promoting mental health, serving as a powerful tool for preventing and mitigating conditions such as anxiety and depression. By adopting detachment practices, individuals can achieve a more balanced and serene state, which is essential for a healthy mental life. This topic explores the connection between emotional detachment and mental well-being, emphasizing how this practice can be a vital element in maintaining an emotionally balanced lifestyle. Detachment, when applied correctly, helps reduce the weight of daily worries and excessive expectations, factors that commonly fuel anxiety and depression. By detaching, a person learns to approach situations with a calmer and less personal perspective, significantly reducing emotional stress. This less reactive and more contemplative approach to life's challenges allows for a smoother and less distressing experience. The practice of detachment also encourages acceptance, a vital skill for dealing with life's uncertainties. Accepting that not all events are under our control helps release the tension associated with the desire to control every aspect of existence. This acceptance not only alleviates anxiety, but also promotes inner peace as the person learns to coexist with uncertainty without being shaken by it. Additionally, detachment can improve the quality of interpersonal relationships by allowing people to interact without excessive expectations or emotional dependencies. Healthy relationships are essential for good mental health, and learning to relate in a more relaxed and less controlling manner can lead to more genuine and satisfying interactions. Integrating detachment as a regular practice can be an effective strategy for strengthening mental health. Techniques such as meditation, mindfulness, and breathing exercises are useful methods for developing this skill. These practices help center the mind, reduce emotional reactivity, and increase awareness of the present moment. Important foundations for healthy detachment. If you're enjoying this, don't miss the opportunity to get the ebook Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges Now, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. The link is in the pinned comment. Throughout this video, we explored the power of emotional detachment and how it can be vital for robust mental health. I encourage you to implement the discussed practices, such as keeping a journal and meditating, to observe the positive transformations in your life. Share your experiences in the comments to inspire our community. Please subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, and leave a like so you don't miss any content. Comment below on how you plan to apply or are already applying detachment in your daily life. Let's grow together on this transformative journey.